Do not tell anyone about the spots you're about to see today because we are going over Model for 3's most overpowered god spots, line of sights, plant spots, and more. Let's start with high rise. So what a lot of people will do on the offense side is hop up on this green shed. If you look through that cut right there, you'll be able to see the entire cross from the left side of the street towards the elevators. What people don't know, you can just straight up jump from the right side all the way to the top. Now from the same spot right here, you can actually do an easier jump to top third, mantling on this ledge. And y'all know from the original Modern Warfare 2 that on high res, all that it takes is not jumping off the map, actually. Surprisingly, all that it takes is following the line here, going up the scaff, and then here you are on top of top third. What a lot of people haven't picked up on is that both of these ledges extend over to the outside of the map. So if you follow it out here, this gives you a super nice off angle to the other side of that propane. And even here, you can see all the way down left street. Our first plant spot is stretching out this bomb as far as you can to this side. And actually on the way back over, I'll show you another jump spot for top third. You have to get a little bit of strafe, but from this spot on the sign, you can strafe jump over to here. Or you could also just land down here. You have a nice line of sight on top of the bomb from here. Or if you somehow find yourself all the way on top third, you can lay down here on the very left. See all of bomb. It's stretched far enough so that you can just straight up check it from here. There's a couple other spots you need to know. On all of these ACs, this bottom line here, if you jump up on it, you can crouch and it gives you a nice head glitch depending on where you're looking. This is a hard point as well. So you can hop up on this side. You'll be in the hill and you'll be able to head glitch towards blue. Same thing with these looking towards mid or on this side jumping up and crouching looking towards these windows or standing up and being able to look towards this side. This little ledge, if you hop on top of it, it gives you a nice head glitch that looks over the B push through. A very common head glitch people will go once they push through B street is here that looks over everything. And I believe from this spot over here, you're able to counter that simply by hopping up here and looking towards that, uh, that head glitch on the street. Y'all should be very familiar with this outer wall run. But one thing that I'll let you guys know, if you're trying to hit it in search and destroy or other game modes, you have to be careful about these ledges here, because if you jump on it and fall wrong, it's going to kick you off of this ledge and then you're doomed. So when I'm running across this lane, the same thing happens for this side of these little ledges. If you're looking straight ahead, you'll see my character kind of bump out to the right, right there, that little bump. The last thing you want is for that to kick you off the map. So I always am facing towards the wall and that allows you to run along this ledge and hit that flank even faster. Same thing for these spots here, look left. And then once you're past them, you're able to jump up and flank the spawn. I also can't make this video without giving credit where credit is due. S and Dylan is the spot go to have his channel linked in the description. A lot of these spots came from his mind, so be sure to show love to his channel in the description down below. This next one is one of my favorites on this map. If you hop up on top of these barrels and then the generators right here, you're able to mantle right here and it gives you another way to get top heli. The tricky part about this jump though, is that if you stay too close to the wall, when you jump over, you're just gonna fall into blue. So the secret is go to these generators on the right, back up just a little bit from the wall and then you jump towards the left and go up. So just make sure you're not all the way towards the wall, you're backed up a little bit. Then you jump left and you're able to mantle. On all of these propanes, you're able to mantle on this spot here. You have to be careful not to be blown up, but this little part of the propane is a nice little head glitch if you're able to get up here. You can see pretty much the entire map and depending on where the opponents are coming from, you're able to angle yourself to make it a head glitch. So same thing on this propane, you can actually jump up, mantle here, of course, look over mid, but this is another way to jump up top heli. That's not the predictable staircase. And then on this side, there is a way to jump up to top heli nice and quickly. If you are on this part of the AC, jump up and mantle here, and then you're up on top heli without having to go up these stairs on this side. If y'all don't know already, when you do hit up these stairs, there is this lane to look under the helicopter. You can check their spawn. You can check their right windows. And if they're on their staircase, you're able to see that as well. A great plant spot for a bomb if you're able to stretch it towards this side. If you're able to lay down up here and check the bomb that way. One of my favorite post plant spots on B is this generator right here. If you mantle up on the right and then crouch, you're able to simply fall into this spot. It gives you a really nice off angle and head glitch that looks over their entire spawn. You can also see underground from here as well. Another mantle spot if you hop on top of these barrels and then the elevator buttons you can get on top of. You're able to spam jump and then you can mantle up top. You kind of have to get the mantle just right. I'm actually turn my hand cam on for this part. You'll see if I just kind of go straight for the jump and spam forward on my controller. I'm not mantling all the way. What I've learned, if you look at my left stick, if you kind of point forward and diagonally, you'll find that sweet spot. If you look in the very center of the screen, kind of where my gun is, it says press X to mantle. Something about going horizontally with the left stick allows you to get that mantle up rather than pointing head on. If you're trying to mantle something that's a little bit funky, go horizontal right and horizontal left to get all the way up here. Now that we're over here, I'll show you that you can do this jump on top of this propane. Another spot y'all should know if you're pushing the B street, 
lay down here and then you're able to see the push they're not going to be expecting you here because you're behind this trash can if you're pushing on this side you can strafe jump from this part to that little ledge right there it's that pipe on the right you kind of have to give it a little bit of a strafe jump but once you're up here you can see the entire underground on both sides it's a good way to kind of watch your back when you're pushing from b you can just kind of crouch this one slowly walk your way across you don't have to hit a strafe jump or anything like that but you're able to see blue and the blue push as well as your back this side of underground you can hop up on top of this red barrel which gives you a nice little line of sight towards the top stairs and if you angle it correctly you can see their left windows a lot of people also don't know that this is a ledge right here another great off angle for the left windows and if somebody is coming from this street to wrap back and look bottom mid they will not be expecting you here if you like to snipe or watch the cross from this side, if you hop up on this table, it gives you a nice off angle for their deep spawn. If you're somebody who likes to snipe the middle part, instead of just challenging this corridor straight up, what you can do is hop up on this table behind you. A better line of sight since you're coming from top down. And if your opponents are sniping, they're more likely to get hit marker since your torso will be higher up. Inside this spawn building, of course, you can jump up on here, check top heli, as well as the underground flank. If you kind of angle yourself like this. Also on this box, you can hop up here. And this allows you to head glitch the blue push. And that is all for high rise now on to invasion. Not a ton of spots on this map, but there are some very important ones. One of my favorites is from this left box right here. If you jump up on top and strafe right, you're able to see if somebody is head glitching the top of the tank. If you happen to be playing this top second building, you can of course see that same head glitch. You can strafe jump from here towards this building. And same thing from the opposite side if you're trying to push the hard point. You can also strafe into here. To clear this broken building you can check construction from under the tank if you angle it properly from here you can see the right corner of construction as well as these head glitches on the left but if you lay down right here you're able to see this push from the dvd alley let me go ahead and plant since the timer's ticking down and i'll show you all my favorite plant spot on this map i actually am not looking forward to exposing this one because the more people that know it uh the less likely i'll be able to clutch but if you plant for that back corner there of course that involves clearing the street because they can see you if you bust open this door into ice cream and then hop up on top of the vending machines you can check the bomb if you hop up on top of these boxes you're able to see the cross towards the back street same thing but opposite if you hop up on top of this car you can check the orange hold or the uh or the forklift you can also jump up for more information on the bomb site if you happen to find yourself in the fortress this entire window you're able to see red dots through there's also this spot here on top of this planter if you jump over to the right you're able to hold most of mid you can angle yourself back a little bit to see that back alley i want to show this jump up to the top nerd corner is what i've been calling this if you go on top of the desk and then jump on this lamp you can jump up and see the a street cross kind of the same thought process from construction earlier if you look under the tank you can see their back spawn and any head glitches that are in the mid courtyard and from the opposite tank you're able to look underneath to see towards mid all the way on this right corner of a bomb you can lay down watch your own back watch your own flank and then if you stand up, you can see the entirety of that A-bomb and nobody's going to be checking this. And that's all for Invasion. Let's move on to Karachi. If you watch my videos, you know one of my favorite routes on this map is to jump on top of the bus. Get on top of the higher part here where you can strafe jump over to this left window. From the same bus, you're able to jump to the second story. However, you can't mantle this. You have to jump on top of that ledge right there. It's a little bit of a tricky strafe, but once you're here, you're up in a second. If you're trying to push towards A-bomb, you can strafe jump into the bus. And that's a faster route towards the A-bomb if somebody's planting or if you're trying to check it. You can also just straight up mantle from this side. You have to back up a little bit before jumping up here. And then you can do that same jump we were talking about earlier. If you're on any sort of stairs, you can wiggle your way further into the head glitch. You see my hand cam, I'm wiggling left and right. And now I'm all the way down these stairs and I have a nasty head glitch towards there. Rather than if I just straight up walked up while crouched, I would be way higher and way easier to shoot. It's actually insane how this works. Like I'm in the floor right now. If you're coming from this side, this awning, that ledge, as well as that ledge, are all nice little lines of sight and angles for you to hold the mid push going into the bottom fountain building if you open these doors you're able to watch the mid push you can see through this window if they decide to jump up to top red going over to this side of the map a lot of people will sit on this planner and head glitch top third however that's not a ton of information so what i like to do is jump up here and crouch at these barrels if you line it up just right you're able to see the top third hit as well as top chicken and then if they end up pushing top third you can strafe to your right you'll be a little bit lower on that head glitch and strictly looking at top third of course you can hop up on top of these ledges and you can even walk alongside it to push towards this side the most consistent way to make this jump on top of scaff i found is to strafe to the side as you're jumping up on this concrete that way you're even more exposed to where you can just jump up on the scaffolding and mantle up but the best way to get up to the acs is to jump on this box and then this box 
That way you don't even have to mantle or make any noise. You're just all the way up here. There's a way to just single hop up here. But it's not terribly consistent and you don't want to accidentally jump through it and then you're stuck on this side. I think it's more so the left side of this right concrete. If you just jump, you're there. But I'll try to show you what it looks like if you hit it wrong. That's what it looks like. And it just is super awkward. You feel clunky. You have to jump back over before going more consistently up top. What a lot of people don't know, if you run up these stairs, you can hug this outer part of the wall all the way on the right side. Um, you get a nice angle into top church as well as top fountain. And then you can even peek the bridge. If you go back to the other side, you can jump on this ledge right here, which is a nice off angle to watch the flank as well as anybody pushing from the B street towards you. This entire outer ledge, like we saw on that side, also goes on the left as well. So if you hop up here, you can of course see anybody that's in chicken, as well as this off angle that goes towards both of these windows here. What I like to do is kind of strafe jump out towards this spot. This is one of the best head glitches in the game. Some jump spots if you're trying to push chicken towards top chicken building, you can jump on this right here, back up far enough to where you can jump and mantle on this, and then you're up top. From here, you can also go on top of chicken, which allows you to flank second. Instead of having a mantle up like that, if you hop on this first box and then strafe to the right, you'll hit this ledge and then you'll hit, ooh, okay, hold on, <laughs> hear me out. You'll hit this ledge, then this ledge, then here, and then you're up top, all without mantling. So just a smooth push up to the right. That way, if you're hard aiming, you won't get caught while mantling. Like if you're jumping up here, you won't have your gun out, so if they're sitting on those barrels that we were at earlier, they'll have a free shot on you, as opposed to just kind of strafing and already being up top third. While the timer's ticking, I'm going to show you a nice plant spot for B. Plant on this far back corner. We'll do that same jump spot from earlier to get up to top chicken. You can kind of see the outline of it there, well as on this side, which is a lot safer. From second, you can fall on the awning, hit the garage right here. You're able to hit this ATM sign and even jump further back onto this sign. That way you can check the deep flank as well as the close flank. Speaking of that hard point, if you push into here and jump on top of this ledge, you can strafe jump into this corner. If you crouch, you can go even deeper and nobody will be expecting you up here. Other more consistent ways you can get up into the spot are from the trash cans here, assuming that the door is closed. You can even mantle on top of the caution sign and then jump up here as well before crouching and then you're in the corner. One thing I forgot to mention as well from this top window hop here, from either side, you can actually slowly creep down and then you stay on this ledge. It's a nice off angle to watch the arches hit. And if you turn around, you can kind of see the push towards a bomb. Problem is if you look far enough left, you're just gonna fall down. So if you're able to stretch plant for this side, all the way on this back corner, anybody that's on the top ACs or top yellow here, as well as into the fountain room, you can see all the way down that street towards the a bomb. I hate to expose this, but I think maybe Celium did already. If you lay down up here, it's essentially a stair glitch. Like only the tiniest part of your head is showing. So they're going to be unable to shoot you if they're chilling from the bomb, or even if they're top red, if you lay down at just the right angle, you will be unkillable. And that is all for Karachi. Now on to Scrapyard, not in the competitive playlist for 3v3s and 4v4s, but a lot of websites are keeping this map in for 1v1s and 2v2s. One of my favorites is to get on top of Shark Fin. The easiest one is to hop up on top of these barrels and then jump towards the right. You don't want to sprint and jump because for whatever reason, it makes your body hit that ledge right there. Either strafe to the right or kind of look ahead and just simply walk. One thing that I found super early on in this game is that if you crouch here and then shift all the way to the left, you have a head glitch on top of this generator that watches the L-plane push as well as the entire B flank. Now from this plane here, you're able to strafe jump on top of the short plane. You're a little bit more exposed, but you can still see all of the top third. You can see that left window. You can see top broken plan. And if you crouch and shift all the way to the left, let's say you have somebody playing B or you planted B or something like that. You have the entire flank from A on a nasty, nasty head glitch. If you want to jump on the broken plane from this side, you're aiming for kind of that spot on the right side. And then when you hit it, it's a little bit hard to hit, but once you do, you wanna spam your jump button as you're hitting that part of the plane. And that way it just continues straight up. There's another jump spot onto this side of the broken plane and it's from kind of the bed of the truck. You jump up here, then you pause before continuing your jump onto the broken plane. However, I found this one not nearly as consistent as this one, even though it's more difficult because all this stuff is in your way on the right. It's so much more consistent to just kind of jump and then bunny hop onto the plane. From the other side of the broken plane, super easy jump from this generator up. I know y'all already know that. However, what you might not know is that you're able to head glitch this generator and watch the cross to L plane. You can strafe jump from this side towards this plane here. 
You want to make sure you hit that right because a lot of times if you go further out to the left, you're just going to fall off the plane and then you have to go all the way back and all the way up. So kind of strafe jump towards that right side. You can crouch here and you have a nasty head glitch towards their spawn. Anybody trying to work A. This was exposed a little bit earlier, but you can crouch or lay down and get through these windows. If you lay down, you can go through the windows that way. Same thing from this side. If you jump up and then lay down, then you're inside the plane. But if you go on top of the barrels, on top of these boxes, super great off angle for anybody trying to work in an A bomb site or push up here. You can jump up on top of these boxes. And if anybody pushes from this side through that door, everybody is looking down low. You'll see when I'm zoomed in, you literally can't see that top box unless you look up. Nobody is going to be expecting you here. Jump from this box and mantle up here. This is another great spot. The people pushing from that door are going to be looking lower, not higher. So you have a nice angle on them. And then now you have the pit push. If you hop up on this wall, the entire left flank, if you back up far enough on the wall, you can see it all of top broken. You can even see inside the L plane and then a little bit of top L plane if they're pushing from the other side. Jump up on top of these barrels and then on this side of the pallet, you have a nice little head glitch for the flank towards B. On this side, on top of these pallets, a nice off angle is on top of this ledge. A fast way to top L plane as well, if you jump up on top of the green crate, you can just mantle up on this side. You have to aim for the middle because if you hit it on the right, it's not going to let you up. And I'm pretty sure it's a long mantle every time. So just aim towards the middle. Oh, that was actually a short one. So if you aim towards the middle, look up or look down, it's a nice way to mantle up top. And that's going to be it for scrapyard spots. Now onto skid row. And one of the better spots for watching flank, y'all know you can get up on top of that awning there. But this entire brick ledge here allows you to watch the tunnel flank. And if you strafe out far enough to the left, you can see all of the top water tower. A nice jump spot from this side of the water tower if you jump on top of this orange thing right here. And then on the pallets, you can jump up on the right. However, a lot of people, especially on the other side, will push those blue doors and hold this corner. I sit here all the time and I watch the hop up. I feel kind of sad that I'm exposing this because it's gonna make me die from that spot. But if you jump up on the right side of this pallet and then go left, it's a way for you to mantle up top while being pretty much unseen from that spot. And you can really get pretty far strafe jump you'll see this wall is here and nobody would expect kind of a mantle up top and then a chow towards that right corner all of these windows right here i don't have anybody in my lobby so you're gonna have to trust me but if you look on the bottom part of these windows you can see red dots through them not going to be terribly consistent but if you're trying to watch the flank from the blue doors as long as you're on the very bottom ledge the white part of the window you're able to see a diamond if you strafe jump towards the left side of that pallet you can get a one mantle that goes up here which is a little bit faster but like we were talking about earlier it's still vulnerable from that push right there a spot that i've been loving recently especially since it's the hard point on p1 if you crouch along this wall it gives you a head glitch towards the inside of fire i haven't tested if you're able to hold the hard point from here i think you have to be kind of in the window let me go ahead and plant b stretching for this side if you jump on top of this while that door is open you're able to see the push from middle into the bomb site if you angle yourself you can see the left alley as well as that push on the far right side into the bomb site a lot of people don't know you can hop up on top of this grate and it's a nice little off angle to keep you up tall if you want to chow the back alley you can do so from an even higher angle you can check the bomb either from this window here or if you crouch and look just right you can see it through this little crack in the wall right there a great off angle if you see that ledge right there you jump on this, you have the entire push from mid, you have top apartments. The only place they can come is from back alley or jumping out your right window without you seeing them. The important part you need to know is to not aim farther than this brick wall right here. Because if you do that, you'll fall off the ledge like that. Going to the bottom mid building, if you hop up on top of this ledge, you're able to look through the grates and you can see the bottom mid push. If you hop up on the bomb here, you can jump into this corner. If you crouch, you can look at your push from fire. And if you turn around, let's say you have the bomb planted here, you're literally just hard aiming it. You're pretty exposed if they do check fire. Coming from the other direction, you can hop up on top of what I think is a light. That way you can head glitch the mattress, looking towards the uh, the steps. Similarly, on top of these barrels, you can do the same thing. Pushing out towards the playground. If you hop up on top of this wall here, you can mantle to be up top. There's a great off angle from here underneath the dumpster. You're able to shoot into top fire that way. Same thing with that left window. And then from inside the barber shop, there's of course this deep corner that goes way up high. This is a nice spot for that hard point as well. From all the way back here in the spawn, you can jump up on top of these crates. And if you jump, it's a nice way to check the tunnel. If you go even further back and then crouch, another longer line of sight towards that tunnel. And that will do it for skid row now on to terminal. The hop outside of the map is now patched, so there's no way to hit it, even with one of the barriers 
they totally patched that. Jumping up on this ledge right here, you can jump up on either side of the wall. What you want to do is crouch before falling down on this pot right here. And then you have a nice head glitch that looks over the entirety of the B push. You can go further back towards the spawn on this planter. And then from the planter, you can even hop up on top of this ledge. It's a nice spot to watch the bee bomb, although it's a little bit harder of a jump to get into. Also, when you get up on this wall, you can push towards this side. Now, if you plant the bee bomb in this further corner, closest to the eskies, then you can check it from here. You just have to be careful that it can't be stretched from the eskies. Another great way to play bee post plant. With us being top third, a great head glitch is from this side of this AC vent. You can look at the entire bee cross as well as cockpit. If you hop up on this AC and lay down, you can see all of Book, all of Dreams Cross, and then even some of B. There are ledges on the outer part of White. If you happen to know somebody's in there, you can fall down and then challenge them from a head glitch here. But you need to know the quick hop up to top third, which would be here and then up. You can even mantle on this railing earlier and then it's a faster hop. From top third, you can also jump on this ledge back up as far as you want to look at the back Eskies push. If we're going further back into the spawn, you can jump up on this ledge. And if you angle yourself just right, you can see top eskies as well as hedges through this bush right here. On the flashier side, you can actually jump on these TVs right here with a little bit of a strafe from the top ladder. You can jump on top of the planters here. And if you turn around, well, first I should show you, you have a head glitch towards the plane. If you turn around, you can go on top of the other planters and even jump towards the TVs on this side as well, as well as that one up here. Not a crazy amount of information from up here, but it's a flashy little off angle that nobody's going to expect. This spot here will definitely get a patch soon, but if you go underneath the plane, kind of jump your head through this part, you're able to see into the plane and even look at a bomb. Definitely a glitch spot. I would avoid using this in wagers or anything like that, but if you play pubs or just want to get flashy, you can see through a lot of the plane on that part. Also, if you're trying to flank low plane and hit a slide just right, you can slide for extra long simply because it's not tall enough for you to stand up all the way. So it lets you slide extra long underneath. If you angle yourself just like this, you can actually see the crack from elbow towards plane. Something else people don't know is that you can head glitch top third. Also, if you jump up on these boxes, you can easily check the cockpit to see if anybody's camping, laying down in here or anything like that. From these stairs, if you jump up on this side, you get a nice little jump spot towards top third to see if anybody's playing there. On the other side, if you hit a little jump from here, you get to hang on to this ledge. You can crouch walk to the other side. That allows you to push from the left side of the windows rather than being stuck pushing from the elbow. In terms of plant spots, if you go here, you can jump and look through the entire plane. If you stretch that A bomb towards kind of the center aisle of the plane, you can jump up a check from there. If you break the glass, you can hop up on this ledge and you can walk along this entire ledge. You can slowly walk your way across. Now from this orange ledge, you can check underneath the plane or you can even turn around have an angle towards mid. Using the same ledges on this side is kind of a more consistent way to hit this window flank. And that's gonna do it for all the spots on Terminal and all the spots in the competitive map set of Modern Warfare 3. If you wanna see more like this, especially in more maps, let me know with a like or a subscribe. You have to subscribe if you learn something as well. But thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time at lunchtime.